welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys for a Barsat News Roundup coming your way today. We do have some good news on the agenda. Also, we do have some bad news. We are still trying to take the rough with the smooth right now. We're still trying to move forward in whatever way that we can. Coming up today, we're discussing Sergio Aguero, Memphis Depay, the new signings there and also Elash Mariba and his situation. It is all coming up, but let's kick off. Come on with some good news. Because when you are talking about the Camp Nou, and especially there when you're talking about playing in front of fans at the Camp Nou, it seems like an absolute lifetime that they've been away. With empty stands at the Camp Nou becoming normal over the past year or so. But at long, long last, and ahead of the brand new season, we have received a huge breath of fresh air because it has been confirmed by the health authorities there in Spain and indeed now Catalonia that a 30% capacity crowd has indeed been authorised there and that the camp now will see 30,000 fans attend Barca against Real Sociedad this weekend and honestly guys to me that is a massive massive boost right now I think we as the fans and indeed the players too more than ever we need that extra lift we need that bit of energy here injected given everything that has gone on in recent times and certainly right now after such a long time away the players I'm sure will thrive there off that amount of fans being back inside of the stadium and I also want to say as well aside from those sporting reasons we all know that financially this is massive for us this is a really important step here filling the camp now is our absolute priority that is a huge huge part of our revenue as a club and I think right now in the difficult time that we're in. This is a step in the right direction. It's a decision that we needed to go in our favour. And on Sunday, we are back. But, of course, when it comes to Barca, you can't have all positive news, you know. That would be, what, boring? Because let's now discuss the new signings. And in particular, let's talk about the registration of the new signings. Because honestly, guys, in terms of registering the four new players that we've signed this summer, that has been something that's unsettling. That's the way I describe it right now. I felt quite uneasy about that for quite some time. I kind of wanted to be confirmed that they're definitely going to be available for that first game of the new campaign. And according to some reports today in the local media, Barca are still hopeful and they still need more salary reductions and potential departures before the start of the new season. Apparently there, between today and Thursday, Barca are very, very hopeful of confirming some of those wage reductions. Also, maybe we could see a departure or two, because apparently otherwise, it may indeed be difficult to register those new signees, according to the media. And it remains to be seen right now whether they're making this situation a bit more dramatic, whether they're sort of getting one more extra story out of this before the new season begins. But of course we need those players available. We need the likes of Memphis Depay in that team to start the brand new season. And if there was one thing really that did give me some confidence, it was actually the words of Memphis himself. You look at the post that he made there immediately after a really promising display once again at the weekend against Juventus. He said, time for the real work. See you next week. And he doesn't really seem like somebody there who's not expecting to play against Real Sociedad. Because he would of course be well aware of his situation. He would know already whether he could play or not and it doesn't seem there like somebody is not going to be involved. And of course the Barca account have also been regularly posting pictures there of the likes of Memphis, the new signings who can be involved and I just hope that everything goes smoothly with that because we really don't need any more of that kind of bad news. Speaking of those new signings though, one of them definitely will not be involved against Real Sociedad and not because of any registration issue but he is simply going to be out injured. Sergio Aguero, as we know, missed the Joan Gamba match on Sunday. Barca confirming at the time that Aguero had suffered an injury to his right calf. An initial report in Spain said you know, immediately after that news emerged that Aguero could be out for say three, four weeks at the maximum, maybe just one month away from the field, which would have been a blow but it wouldn't have been too bad in the grand scheme of things. However, like I've said before, it doesn't rain, it pours. Because Barca confirmed on Monday that the calf injury that Aguero suffered will not keep him out for three to four weeks. It will actually be ten 
weeks on the sideline, meaning there that he'll miss around two and a half months of action there in a Barcelona shirt. And that's a huge blow to him. You know, he wanted to start his career in the best possible way. He needs to be out there on the field. We want to see him in action there as our number nine. And of course, it's also a really big blow to Ronald Koeman. And I do wonder now, off the back of that news, what sort of knock-on effects are we going to see? Because you have got now somebody like Martin Braithwaite, who's been linked away from the club for most of the summer. He's somebody who, to be honest, we all expected to be sold by now. He hasn't been moved on yet even despite a 15 million bid reported there from a Premier League club. Apparently the club would love to accept that bid but Braithwaite as of right now still wants to try and convince Ronald Koeman that he can make it here. That he can be in that Barcelona first team and after featuring in our last two preseason games he does have two goals to his name as well in those games. You do now wonder whether Ronald Koeman will look to Braithwaite. Will he look of course let's not forget to Raymond I those are going to be the questions heading into these days now and this time that we'll have without Aguero, which is a really big shame. Finally though guys, we do have to talk about Elash Moriba and indeed his entire situation that of course when all the messy news was ongoing, Elash's situation was very much dwarfed in comparison to what was going on with Messi but right now Barca say that they see Elash and those entire contract negotiations as a lost cause. Apparently Barca have completely given up at this stage of any hope of a renewal, there doesn't seem to be any willingness on either side to budge, there doesn't seem to be any room at all to compromise, it seems that Elash's time as a Barca player, it is coming to an end. But the question is, what happens next? Because as we know, Barca would like to sell him if they cannot agree that renewal, and they will not be able to now. Barca wants around 20 to 25 million for Elash Moriba. We know there's been interest in the likes of Man City, Chelsea, but as of right now, no official approach has been made towards the club. RB Leipzig are another club there who have been linked to Elash, but once again... Barca, as of right now, have no offer. They have nothing coming into them there that says that Elash will leave the club permanently this summer, that they will be able to get in any transfer fee for him. And the other big problem right now that Barca do have is the intentions of Elash himself. Of course, the player still under contract for one more year. He is effectively in control of his future until then, with Sport reporting right now that Elash Moriba would rather remain on the sidelines, away from the team, away from the field, for an entire season, because next year, he plans to leave for free. Come January, he will be able to agree a pre-contract agreement with any club of his choice, and then next summer, he will be able to walk out of the club, and we will receive absolutely nothing in return. That would be yet another blow, and it would be really frustrating to see it go that way. So indeed, guys, that right now is the latest on the Barcelona front. Of course, there has been so much going on over these past few days, but hopefully now with all this transfer stuff just sort of winding down a little bit, what we can do in these coming days is look forward to the start of the brand new season. Our season gets underway on Sunday. It's a massive game at the camp now, now with fans in the stands as well. It's a huge, huge occasion. We need to start in a positive manner, and I'm going to bring you all the build-up ahead of that crucial, crucial game. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on all the issues and all the subjects that we have discussed in today's video. I'll of course see you very soon. Thank you guys for watching and for your continued support and loyalty. It really is appreciated. But until next time, as always here, Vizca El Bussa.